I know you would be expecting part three of the Moira Anderson story today, but sadly I've not been able to complete this story yet due to helping a family member move home. I didn't want to leave you with no episode today though, so here's a short mystery episode I had written a while ago and plan to release to Patreon. Thanks for your continued support and for understanding. At midday on Thursday the 20th of September 2007, unemployed painter and decorator Peter Graham, who was 49, was found by his neighbour, Hazel Mackenzie, collapsed and bleeding on the pavement outside her home at Port Ellen on the island of Isla. Concerned about seeing a significant amount of blood pooling around Peter's head, Hazel helped Peter into her home at which point she also noticed that his legs were shaking profusely and she thought he might have been having a fit and had fallen and so she called the local doctor. The doctor took one look at Peter and determined that Peter needed urgent hospital attention. Peter was airlifted that afternoon to the Royal Alexandra Hospital in Paisley, which is about 11 miles or 18 kilometres west of Glasgow and if you were to drive and sail to it from Isla, it would take you about five hours but this was the closest appropriate hospital. Upon being examined by doctors at the hospital, they became suspicious of Peter's head injuries, deeming that they couldn't have been sustained merely by a fall, and it was thought that perhaps he had been attacked. As it was initially thought that Peter had just fallen, the police didn't become involved straight away. However, on the hospital staff reporting that they felt his wounds could be from him being attacked, the police from the mainland, Oban, immediately sailed to the island of Isla, where they spent a fortnight. Detective Inspector Charlie Henry of Strathclyde, who headed up the investigation, issued a statement which said that they were trying to establish Peter's movements between the 17th and the 20th of September, up to Peter being found collapsed outside a neighbour's home, and he was urging anyone who knew anything or had heard anything to come forward. A couple of days after Peter arrived at the Paisley Hospital, he unfortunately slipped into a coma, which he would not come round from and he subsequently died at 11.05pm on Wednesday the 3rd of October 2007, just short of two weeks from being found severely injured in the street near his home. A post-mortem was carried out, and the results, which were reported on the 5th of October 2007, said that it had been inconclusive in determining whether Peter had died due to an assault or an accident. His death, however, continued to be treated as suspicious. The island of Isla is the southernmost island of the innermost Hebrides of Scotland. It's known as the Queen of the Hebrides and in 2011 had a population of 3,228. The island is 25 miles or 40 kilometres long from north to south and 15 miles or 24 kilometres broad and it's the fifth largest Scottish island. The people on Isla are renowned for being friendly and welcoming, and the islanders are not used to anything other than occasional petty crime being committed, with an island council member saying at the time of Peter being found that crime is not something we are used to here. The last time there was a suspicious death on the island was in 1974, 33 years prior to the suspicious death of Peter Graham. Two years prior to Peter being found, his wife Fiona, who he had been married to for eight years, left him to live in Luxor in Egypt, where she worked as a camel herder and a waitress. Fiona, however, had returned to Isla, where she lived with Peter again in June 2007, three months before he was found on the street collapsed. At the time of Peter's death, his family claimed that Fiona had actually married twice while she had been living in Egypt, despite never having actually divorced Peter. Peter's neighbour, Hazel Mackenzie, who had found Peter collapsed outside her home, was friends with his wife Fiona, and she said that their marriage had been turbulent. She went on to say that in the summer of 2005, Peter had had enough of Fiona and had told her to get out. This was apparently due to her running up catalogue debts worth £15,000, which in today's money is about £23,000 and $31,800. It was at this point that Fiona had left the island for Egypt, initially only planning to go for a holiday and to give her and Peter a bit of time apart. However, when she returned to Isla from her holiday, she told Hazel that she had met someone in Egypt and would be moving out there to live with him, which she went on to do. While Fiona was living in Egypt, she continued to keep in touch with Hazel and Hazel confirmed what Peter's family had claimed, that Fiona had in fact married two different men while living in Egypt. For whatever reason, Fiona then returned to Isla in June 2007 and moved back in with Peter. 
It is not known what the state of their relationship was like since Fiona moved back in with Peter three months prior at the time of Peter being found collapsed, but if it had been anything like it had been when they were living together previously, it would have likely been turbulent. Peter was well known on the island to drink quite heavily, with his family confirming that he was an alcoholic, although they did state that Peter hadn't actually had a drink on the day he was found collapsed. Following a month-long investigation taking place, on the 23rd of October 2007, the police sent a report to the Procurator Fiscal, which is the public prosecutor, in Oban, which stated that Peter's wife, Fiona, had been named in connection with two alleged assaults on Peter on the 17th and or the 18th of September, which was two or three days before Peter was found collapsed. Following Peter being rushed to hospital, Fiona had continued to live in the marital home. However, two days after Peter passed away, she was asked by the police to leave the property and she was relocated to another island. And that is all there is. There is nothing current about this case. There's no further information regarding whether Peter's wife Fiona was charged with assaulting him or if somebody had attacked Peter that day he was found or if he'd simply just had an extremely bad fall. It's doubtful if we will ever find out now what happened to Peter Graham on Thursday the 30th of September 2007. But what do you think happened? Why would Fiona have come back to stay with Peter if she had not one but two husbands in Egypt? Was there anything in the fact that Peter was found fatally wounded three months after she arrived back on the island? Or was it just a terrible accident? Peter left behind a sister, Mary, and two brothers, David and Sammy, and an elderly mother who had suffered a stroke in 2005. The family said that Peter was a nice man who was good to his mother. He was funny and that he didn't have a bad bone in his body. His mother saw Peter in hospital for the last time the day before he died, but she said that there was nothing left of the son she knew and loved. Peter died with his sister and brothers by his bedside. He was 49 years old.